You fall here! Go to concentration. Thunder breathing. First form. Thunderclap and flash! Godlike speed! Hey guys, it's Thunder Splash, and in this episode for Unreal Engine 5, we're going to be talking about how to make a locked door, how to create a key for that door, and how to unlock the same door with the key. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, so first we're going to open up Play a Blueprint. Then we're going to make a variable. Then we're going to write Picked Up Key. Then right click, go to Blueprint class, choose Actor, and we're going to title it Door. Then right click again, go to Blueprint class, Actor, and title it Key. Open it up. Then we're going to go to Add, look for a static mesh, and rename it to Key. Then for the static mesh, we're going to change it to a uh, sphere. And we're going to change the color as well. Then we're going to go back to add, look for box collision. Move it up here. And we're going to resize it. Compile, delete this, now we're going to click on box, highlight it, and go for on component begin overlap, and do the same thing again for on component end overlap. Right click, look for get player controller, then we're going to get the other actor and cast to third person character. Next, we'll duplicate it and repeat the same process. After that, we'll go to return value, right click, look for enable input. Make sure we fix that to player controller. Right click again and look for disable input. We'll connect the return value to player controller as well. Now we just need to connect the third person characters to the enable and disable inputs. After that, we'll go to as third person character and we'll look for picked up key. Next, we'll press the letter G and we'll right click. After that, right click, type in keyboard. And the input key doesn't really matter. Next, we'll connect pressed to enter. And then we're gonna connect open to enable input. After that, we're gonna connect the close to disable input. And we're gonna connect exit to picked up key. Make sure that's checked off. Then we're gonna click here, right click, and then look for a print string. After that, we're gonna look for destroy actor. And then we're gonna relabel this to picked up key. Double click on the door blueprint. Go to viewport and go to add. We're gonna look for a static mesh and we're gonna relabel that to door. Now we just gotta find a door and a static mesh. I'm gonna go back to add and look for box collision. Gonna bring it up here. 
we're going to move the box collision to the center of the door and then we're going to resize it. Compile, go to event graph, get rid of that. After that, we're going to add a variable, change it to closed door. And we're going to change it from a boolean to a float. Compile. And then we're going to duplicate it to open door. Compile. And open door is going to be negative 90. Now we're going to grab the box, go to add event, look for our on component begin overlap. And we're going to do it again for our on component end overlap. After that, we're going to right click, look for Get Player Controller. And we're going to go to Other Actor, and we're going to look for Cast a Third Person Character. Duplicate it, and we're going to do the exact same thing for End Overlap. After that, right click, look for enable input, connect return value to player controller. After that, we're going to right click, look for disable input, and we're going to connect it to get player controller. After that, we're going to connect third person character to disable input, and then we're going to go up here and we're going to do the same thing for this one. Next, right click. Type in keyboard. We're going to change the input. After that, we're going to connect the pressed to the branch. Once we're done with that, we're going to go back to third person character, right click, and look for picked up key. Then we're going to connect the condition from the branch to the picked up key. Then we're going to hold down the letter G and right click. After that, we're going to connect true to enter. We're going to get false and we're going to look for print string. And it's going to say door is locked. After that, we're going to go to enable input and we're going to drag it to open and then we're going to go to disable input and drag it to close. Next, we're going to click on exit and look for flip flop. After that, we're going to click on A and we're going to add timeline. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to change the length to two seconds. Add a float track. And we're going to add a curve. Make sure both are say zero. And then the second curve, we're going to make two at the time and one is the value. After that, we're going to go back to the flip-flop, make sure B is connected to reverse. Right click, look for alert, and new track zero, which is the track we just made, should go to alpha. Forgot to fix that part. And closed door is going to go to A. An open door is going to go to B. After that, we're going to grab the door and we're going to look for set relative rotation. Make sure it's connected. And then we're going to connect the timeline to the set relative rotation. We're going to split the structure and then we're going to connect the Z rotation to return value. Compile. Now 
All right, great. So now all we have to do is just drag the door frame into the map and dress it up. And don't forget the key. And as you can see, we press E and the door is locked. But when we go next to the key, we grabbed it and it disappears. And now the door can open up and close. All right, guys, and that's it. That's how you make a key to unlock a locked door in Unreal Engine 5. Hey guys, if you like these type of videos, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share this video, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Later.